Thank you for joining me for another Quick Hits Conversation. I'm Dr. Robin. With me today, I have Bridget Skeen, Mohan Ananda, and Sarah Oblick Spiker. And I want to ask the question, how do you make sure that you learn from your mistakes, but you don't dwell on them? Sarah, can you kick us off? I would love to. The funny thing for today, this is my third interview in a row, and I still am in a space where I can barely speak English. <laughs> So uh, for some reason, the first thing that came to mind when it comes to making mistakes is to have some levity around mm -hmm. it uh, so we don't dwell over them. But now, of course, there's different kinds of mistakes and what we even consider a mistake. Of course, some are literally life and death mistakes. Some are just little things that won't even matter next week or next year or 10 years from now. So I think it, that would be a good starting point. Like how do you even define mistake and what is the impact of it? Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking as well as when you think of that dwelling part. What I think in order for that mistake to actually become something that you learn from, a lesson learned, you need to dwell, right? If you don't hmm. feel any pain from it, how are you going to grow from that? So, you know, where does the pain come from? That was where my thought was, is it coming from blame? Am I blaming myself? Am I being blamed by others? Was it something that was very public and I'm ashamed? We look at everything with social media now and everything, uh, people who are in the public eye who make mistakes, it seems like there's no more room for error anymore. Mm. You know, this idea that we have to be perfect all the time. So that's where my mind was going. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Mohan? I, I look at it, uh, I'm a very positive person, meaning I look everything in the positive light. Mm. So mistakes, is a, it's a good thing because everybody makes mistakes. So the reason when you make a mistake, as uh, you learn from it, more than learning, you really can be creative. You can come up with alternatives because mistakes really, because people, the, the one mistake most people make, they don't make any decisions. They postpone mm -hmm. it because mm -hmm. they don't want to take the responsibility and delay it. That's a mistake. That, that mistake is, cannot be corrected. So you have to make mm -hmm. mistakes. You have to make mistakes and learn from it. And uh, anybody who claims that I've never made a mistake, it's, it's, it's totally uh, not telling the truth because everybody makes mistakes. So the opportunity, and so I consider making mistakes as an opportunity to improve yourself and correct things. And that's how the innovation really comes. So mistakes is a step towards innovation. That's how I put it. I love that point you just made that the mistake of not making a decision you can't recover from, like that time is lost. I wanted to reiterate that because I think that that's a really, really good point. Thank you so much for sharing that. I know for me, when I make a mistake, especially one that I feel like is public and I feel shame about. So I had a situation this past week where someone asked me to help them publicly test their software for recording. And I was helping, but I also, I didn't realize I had a really bad feedback. And so publicly, we're trying to figure this out. I had a tab open that had the conversation on a delay on Facebook. And then I'm trying to talk to him on this tab. And I didn't figure it out until after we like just stopped doing it. And I felt so much shame about having made that mistake. But I didn't realize that when he invited me in that it opened it in a different tab. So I had no way of knowing till I closed. But the shame about it was the biggest thing I had to overcome. I learned but I had a lot of shame. Yeah. And, and, you know, when you think about what you were saying, Mahan, what you just said, Robin, it's, I think part of it is what we were, how we were brought up mm. the community that we are a part of as well, whether it's professionally or circle of friends, you're a very positive person, Mohan. So am I, I tend to see things, you know, I had no choice that growing up to become resilient and learn from mistakes and learn mm -hmm. from the mistakes of others more importantly, who, you know, um, but it, I think when, when I'm raising my kids, I have that in mind. What, how, what is my reaction when they make a mistake? Am I creating a safe place to make mistakes so they can embrace mistakes as learning opportunities? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that as a fellow mom, uh, I just had a conversation with my kid again, <laughs> when it's so easy uh, to say, you know, oh, it was just a mistake, even though it was in my opinion, super careless because it has been warned about over and over and over again. So when does the, oh, well, it was just a mistake. 
stop being an excuse. Where's that line there? But what happens when you make mistakes, sometimes it will create certain fear because you're not now good enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That uh, I think the by actually making mistakes and correcting and accepting. I mean, you have to recognize that you did make a mistake. I mean, not that, uh, but you, so you have to be part of it and then correct it. I think that's a great thing to grow towards being, not making the same mistakes, obviously, that's important, but you may make mistakes similar. That is part of life. So Mm. I don't think making a mistake is something wrong, but you have to be transforming that having done the mistake and and correcting and becoming a better person. Yeah. I also love the fact that as human beings, we have this amazing capacity to literally rewrite the past when something seemed like a mistake. And then later on with evolution and growth, and uh, as we are becoming wiser, maybe get a different input, we can literally go back and see that one thing from a different angle, change the whole narrative around it. And suddenly it can, at least in my experience, it has been when I shifted the perception around something that happened years ago, it literally shifted something in me and it almost elevated this heaviness and Mm. fog that I was wrapped in when all of a sudden like, oh, that wasn't even a mistake. That wasn't even that bad of a thing. It was an amazing lesson. It was a blessing or whatever it is. When you start embracing mistakes, they become so powerful. Just to your point, you got to trust the process. And sometimes the learning doesn't come immediately. Exactly. It'll come maybe many times later. But once you've experienced that and you've had those aha moments that happen over time, the next time you have a mistake, I think your your whole, that how you approach it will, will change. You'll be like, okay, this is painful right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I know there's there, there's a silver lining somewhere. I just need to find it and be patient and be reflective, uh, take responsibility, uh, but trust the process overall. Yeah, and to your point, Robin, that it's not it doesn't define you. It's not who you are. Mm-hmm. It has to do with your actions and decisions in the moment. So how do you decide if a mistake that you've learned from it and you can let it go, or if it's still something where you're looking for the learning? In my case, I have done, you know, of course, I've started a number of companies and uh, there have been significant failures. And I know this is all because of my mistake more than anybody else. Of course, when you talk about company, it's not just uh, one person, it's a team, but uh, you know, uh, you you can find somebody made a mistake, but I think I I take responsibility of making that mistake. However, that has been an asset for me because Mm -hmm. I made those mistakes and failed, which also helped me to do things which has been extremely successful. So I think the making mistake is not the the problem, but if you don't learn from it, that is a major mistake. So mm-hmm. learning is the, the key and correcting it that you don't go and do similar things. For example, just to give you, uh, when I started the few companies, which was very capital intensive, mm-hmm. when you start a very capital intensive companies, you need to have significant you know, capital oh. to be raised, <laughs> but that, it can be done, but if it, the capital is not there, then uh, it would be very difficult. So mm-hmm. what I said, instead of that, rather than very innovative, capital less, like for example, if you have to have your own data center, that means you have to invest in it. But now the cloud comes in, so you don't need to you know, have mm-hmm. anything. So that is a learning process and start doing. I just want to give an example. So mm-hmm. making mistakes is a, is a, could be an innovative. That means you can go to better things. So that's my experience. Yeah. You make a really good point because learning from mistakes means you have to be willing to make a different one. And exactly. that means don't 
don't become fearful of mistakes. And I know in my past, that was something where I would make a mistake and then I would be fearful of trying to trying something different because what if I make another mistake? But that's how you move forward is by making a series of mistakes that tell you to, that you need to change course. So thank you so much for having this conversation with me. That is our 10 minutes. I appreciate it so much. And I don't think this conversation was a mistake. I look forward to speaking to you again very soon. That was good, thanks.